In this tutorial, we'll discuss about the spray option within the Ocean Modifier in Blender. We have received numerous requests to create this tutorial on spray, so here is that tutorial finally. Let's start with a simple scene like this, where we have added a plane and we have also added this Ocean Modifier for that plane. If you're not already familiar with these options in the Ocean Modifier, I suggest you to first watch our previous tutorial, where we have discussed all the settings and details in the Ocean Modifier, including the foam option. So today in this tutorial, we will specifically discuss about this spray option. We need to first enable the foam option from here, and then this spray option will be available. We can see that we have a data layer visible under the foam, as well as under spray, we have to type down some names here. You can use any name of your choice, so let's call them foam a trib, and spray a trib, as each of them becomes an attribute of the ocean. Blender will store the foam data as a color attribute with this particular name, and similarly, the spray vector will be stored in this spray attribute. We can access this foam attribute from another place, for example within a shader editor, and create some foam over the ocean waves. This has been discussed in depth in our previous tutorial. Let us keep the value of this coverage as zero, so that the foam is visible only over the peaks of these waves, otherwise the entire ocean will become white. Then in the same way, we need to use the spray attribute somewhere, and create the spray particles, because the ocean modifier does not create the spray on its own, we need to implement it separately. The best way to create these particles is to use our favorite geometry nodes editor. Let's create a new node tree, and by default, we'll get these two input-output nodes. We need to add some more nodes here to get started with the spray. We have used a node called distribute points on faces, and the input geometry is connected to this. Then it goes to an instances on point node, and we are using a primitive UV sphere to create instances on each of these points. Then these instances are sent to this node to join them with the original geometry. If we quickly take a look at the result, we'll see that an instance of the UV sphere is created for each point spread across the ocean, but the size of these spheres is too large. So we need to reduce this radius value to say 0.02. And we can also reduce these subdivision values for the sphere, because we don't need very detailed geometry for our point size objects, now it will rather render faster. These points will become our spray particles. But currently, the points are distributed all over the ocean uniformly. Whereas we want them to appear mainly at the wave peaks, making use of these two attributes from the ocean modifier. We can access the attributes within the geometry nodes through a node called named attribute node, so let's add it here. Then in this list, you can see that we have our foam attrib and spray attrib from the ocean modifier, let's first take the foam attribute. We have to connect it to this density factor, but the actual value of this attribute is quite low. So we'll first multiply it using a multiply node from the math group, and connect that output to this density. And this multiplication factor should be really high, like 500 or 600. With that, let's verify the result in our composition. We can see that the particles are now concentrated mostly at the wave peaks, but we want to also displace them according to the spray attribute, otherwise they will look static within a fixed area. This displacement can be created by using a set position node somewhere within this chain. And for the offset value, we'll add another named attribute node here, and this time, we'll select the spray attribute. We have to then combine it with the original geometry of the ocean using join geometry, so instead of this, let's connect this output to the join geometry. That completes our setup, so we can run the composition and take a look at our ocean. The spray particles are now moving naturally with the movement of the ocean and they will become more turbulent if we increase the speed of the wave. You can also control the number of particles, let's say we want to create more particles at the wave peaks and far less in the bottom section. So we need to make some changes to this logic, we'll need to duplicate the math node and convert it into a power of 2. We are first multiplying it with 200 and then taking its square. This will further increase the concentration of the spray particles right at the peak of the waves. I know that it does not look very dramatic, just like the ocean modifier itself, but this is really what the ocean modifier offers us through the spray option. And you can also add a suitable material for the spray that hopefully works better. So we need to add a set material node for these instances, either before or after the set position, and this will then go to the join geometry. We are almost done with this, now you can pick up the spray material from here, and finally, bake the ocean modifier. We got a result like this, rendered in cycles. 
While it looks good, we will expect more improvements in the Ocean modifier, as newer versions of Blender get released. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.